Hello. Hi, Jane. Hi, Luna, Melissa, and Sophia. Hi. Can Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, it looks like yeah. some of our microphones there. are mute. I'm unmuting them now. Oh, there. Sorry, I was muted. Hi there. I think that yeah. there's a setting where when you first come in, the microphone is muted. So now everyone's microphone should be good to go. Okay. okay. Your cat's so cute. Can you see her back there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. She's kind of crazy, too. <laughs> Hopefully she won't um, run on top of my keyboard and stuff while we do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I have cat radar too, yeah. and like people have their webcams on. I always like notice the cat in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so there was one more girl that um, was going to interview, Isabella, but she that's, sent me. Hmm? That's me. That's you, Melissa? Yeah, actually, it's under my mom's name. Okay, you're using your mom's account? Yeah. Okay, good. So we are missing Pam, um, but I think we'll go ahead anyway, because we have quite a few questions and things to talk about. So why don't we start with introducing ourselves? Um, let's give first name, age, and then favorite app, if we have one. Um, and Jane, you can go ahead and go first. Hey, hi, I'm Jane. Um, my favorite app. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, I'm gonna have to think about that for a minute. You guys can go first. Okay, do you want to go next, Luna? Sure. Um, I'm Luna. I'm 12, and my favorite app is probably Instagram. Mm. Oh yeah, I forgot my age. I'm 11. Thank you. And Isabella? Um, I'm Isabella, I'm 12, and I have no idea what my favorite app is. <laughs> and Sophia? Um, I'm Sophia, I'm 9, and my favorite app is... I don't know. Okay, my name's Lacey, um, I'm 33, and my favorite app is probably the kindle app or instagram which i use to take pictures of my cat <laughs> <laughs> so jane have you decided on your favorite app yet um i have like a lot of favorites so you know, yeah all... maybe I'll like, be right back i'm i like video star the app to make um music videos okay um, I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab some um, earbuds. Okay, sounds good. Does everyone have their questions that I sent beforehand? Yes. Okay, why don't we go ahead and have you ask the first question, Isabella, and then, Sophia, you can ask your first question after that. Yeah. Okay. You can go ahead, Isabella, with your first question. Okay. Um, when did you start doing podcasts? Um, I started doing podcasts maybe about two years ago, so when I was like nine. And um, I think. And yeah. So. Um, everything is all. And Sophia, we already talked about the favorite app, so why don't you ask the second question on your list? I think she's frozen. Yeah, it looks like we might have just lost her. I, I She was frozen on my screen, too, but I wasn't sure whether yeah, on mine too. that was just me. No, same here. So, Luna, do you mm -hmm. want to ask your first question? Sure. Um... How do you choose what apps to report on? 
Well, um, I usually have a lot of apps that I'm always playing. And I usually just stumble across apps when my friends talk about them. Or I just find them on my own. And if I think they're good enough, then I'll talk about them. Do you only review apps that you like, Jane, or do you give reviews of apps you don't like to like tell people not to download them? Well, I only do apps I do like because it's. I feel like it's better to hear about apps that you should get than apps that you shouldn't get because they're. Mm -hmm. So if you if you cover it, it's already sort of passed your test. Uh, what? Like, if you cover it, it's already passed your test in terms of yeah. whether it's a good app. Yeah. And then I have a couple of questions here from girls who weren't able to make it to the chat, and I'll ask one of those. Um, one girl, Franny, she's 11, and she asked, what's the difference between an app and a website? Well, an app is, like, it stands for application, and you can actually download it and get to it right away just by clicking on it. Whereas a website, you have to go to like a web browser and look it up and go on it. That's a really good description. Isabella, why don't you go with your next question? Okay. Um, why did you choose to discuss apps? Um, well, I've always liked gaming, so I know a lot of great apps. Like, my phone is literally filled with, like, five pages of folders of apps. <laughs> so I just, like, one day me and my dad were thinking, and we were like, hey, wouldn't it be great to have a podcast that tells you the good apps? Because we know that there's, like, a ton out there, and sometimes you don't know which ones to get or not. Do you pay for most of your apps or do you mainly download free ones um it's kind of half and half if it's okay. good enough we'll pay for it but sometimes like it it's free and it's available and it's still good it's just it doesn't matter about the price in our podcast it's just about the quality of the app okay um luna why don't you go ahead and ask your next question Okay, um, what is your favorite thing about doing podcasts? Well, when I do podcasts, I feel like I can, like, just tell everyone, like, my favorite things and apps and stuff without actually having to, like, make a video or something, and I just, I, like, I just, it's fun to do. I enjoy it a lot. Do you write a script for your podcast beforehand, Jane, or do you just say whatever comes to mind? We have a script, but a lot of spaces in the scripts are just like talk about the details or something. Like it's not actual word by word by word. Okay, so it's like just notes. Yeah. And how long are each of your podcasts? Um, I think like five or ten minutes. Okay. So like yeah, about that. So, Isabella, why don't you ask your third question? Okay. Um, when you get older, would you like to do something with apps and podcasts or something totally different? Well, when I'm older, I actually want to be a game designer. So, I kind of want to go behind it all and just make apps myself. That's really cool. Um, I was just, like, not on here, and now yeah. I can't really see anything. But you made it back on, Sophia, so okay. you cannot, we can hear you. Okay. Um, we don't see your video. Can you hear us, and can you see us? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So if we, if your video is not working, that's not a huge deal, because we can yeah. still hear you, and we can still talk to each other. Um... So we asked a couple of the questions from Luna and Isabella. So why don't you go ahead, Sophia, now that you're back, and you can ask your first couple of questions. Okay. Um, what is your favorite app? My favorite app, like I said before, is probably Video Star. 
um, it's great because it's an app for making like quick music videos with lots of effects and different scenes and stuff. So it's just something fun and interactive to play with. Okay. Um, how often do you play apps? Um, almost like every day when I'm just like sitting around and like I have my phone with me and or if I'm waiting for something. So yeah. Does your phone have a ton of memory on it? Um, actually not a ton. So I'm always having to like back up my photos and like delete apps I don't play anymore. Yeah. Every time I download a new app, I have to like take something off my computer. So I'm like really careful about which ones I download or every time I'd have to take something off my phone. Yeah. So I just try to like stick with most of my apps I already have. Because yeah. Um, Sophia, why don't you go ahead and ask your third question and then we can take a couple more from Isabella and Luna. Okay. Um, have you ever made an app? Um, actually, I have. Um, every summer I go to a camp where I make apps and stuff. But um, I, they've never been on the Apple, the App Store or anything because, um, you know, they're just things I download myself. That's really cool. Can you tell us about one of the apps that you've made at camp? Okay. Well, um, this one's a really long story because all these weird jokes went around and it got really popular at camp about like pirates and fire trucks. <laughs> so I made an app where you're a pirate and fire trucks keep coming at you and you need to keep on like <laughs> clicking a button to jump and dodge them all. And then there's like a score and stuff. Nice. So how long does your camp last where you um, code your apps? Uh, usually one or two weeks. Okay. And do you work on one app the whole time or do you, are you working on like different stuff during that time? Oh, now we can see you, Sophia. Yeah, um, we can yeah. see you, Sophia. <laughs> I had it on like video block or something. Well, that's good. We're glad to have you back. Okay. So, um, well, the camp, it's like, okay, so the apps, number of apps. Um, usually, like, they, um, for the first two or three days, we make, like, one or two apps that, like, they actually teach us how to make. Oh, okay. Intro. And then for, like, oh, the next while, they just let you make your own apps. So if you're just going to make one really long, hard app, you can do that. Or you can make a few shorter, easier ones. It's kind of all up to you. Cool. I'm going to ask another question from a girl who emailed me um, who couldn't make it. This is from Carmen, and she's 10 years old. Um, and she has a similar question to um, Franny's question about the difference between a website and an app. And she says, what is the difference between apps and the computer games that you download? Well, apps are usually referring to smartphone apps, but they can sometimes refer to computer applications, but um, they're pretty much the same. The only difference, I guess, is games that you can download on your computer, like, are sometimes more complex and have more, like, Minecraft or Portal or World of Warcraft, if we know any of those. Like, mm -hmm. it's a lot more interactive, like, it's, like, because they don't have them as phone apps, because on phones and stuff, you can't do as much, so mm -hmm. on the computer, it's, like, bigger, so they're just more better, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Isabella, do you want to, we'll, we'll ask um, the last questions on everyone's list, and then I've got one question from Pam who wasn't able to make it. So do you want to ask your last question, Isabella? Okay, um, Jane, how long have you been interested in apps? Well, I've been like interested in gaming ever since I was little. I've just always been into it. I, like, I play Minecraft a lot and stuff. Um, 
when I was like eight or something, my dad had an old iPhone that he didn't use anymore. But it was kind of like it had a cracked screen and stuff, and he knew he couldn't sell it much. So I just kind of started using it to play on it and stuff. It kind of became like my little gaming device for me. So I guess ever since then, I've always just been kind of interested. How old were you when you started going to your app camp? Uh, let's see. I used to take a camp at UCLA, so that was, I don't know, like, again, when I was about eight. When I was eight, it all kind of started. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Luna. Um. Oh, I wasn't raising my hand. Sorry, I was adjusting the light above my head. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you can go ahead and ask. Um. It looks like there is a couple, two questions that you haven't had a chance to ask yet. So you can go ahead and ask yeah. both of your questions, okay. Luna. Okay. Um, how many people on average listen to your podcasts? I'm actually not sure because all of the, um, when we used to do it with the counting device, kept on getting screwed up and saying like a lot. But I do remember at one point we were like, number one or two on the top most popular uh app podcast on the itunes store so i'm actually not sure exactly how many but cool. um a that's lot, I think. that's pretty cool how did that feel when you were up that high i was happy yeah i was just very very happy <laughs> um, yeah i got little business cards and everything Oh, cool. <laughs> Do you um, ever hear from people who have listened to your podcast, Jane? Is there a way that they can comment or send you messages or anything? Actually, yes. We had a, um, a section of our podcast called the listener um, emails. And basically, we would people would send us in emails, like questions and stuff, and we would answer them. So, yeah. Did they ever send you, like, suggestions for apps they wanted you to review? Yeah, all the time. People would, like, because sometimes it would just be kids, like, saying, like, how do you do this? But then a lot of times, sometimes it would be adults saying, hey, I think you should check out this app I made. So. That's really cool. And then, Luna, you can ask your next question, which is also related to the podcast. Okay. Um, how often do you make your podcasts? Um, we used to do it, like, maybe... Um, it kind of varied as we got deeper into it, but I think it was, like, once a week. Once a week. We tried to keep it once a week. Nice. What kind of um, tools do you use to make your podcast, Jane? Like, is there a program, a computer program or something that you would recommend if girls are interested in learning to podcast? Um, I think we just use, like, GarageBand and stuff. And we had, like, a little microphone that we had. Mm-hmm. Like, a desk microphone. And so, yeah. And then we just wrote the script, spoke, um, and then edited it together. So you said, do you edit your podcast after you've, after you've like recorded them? Yes, because there are like a hundred mistakes. I'm always like getting my tongue twisted <laughs> and messing up. So we usually edit it a bit. How long does that take? Um, it can vary depending on how many times I mess up, but usually like, I don't know, half an hour or something. Not that long. I don't know. Yeah, that's Maybe not that bad. Minutes, something. So do you use GarageBand to edit it too? Uh, yeah, I think. Do we? Yeah, GarageBand. Have any of you girls ever tried making a podcast or use like a recording program to do anything like that? Um, I know when I was 10, I think I was really interested in becoming a radio show host. So mm -hmm. I used, um, I forget what it's called, but I recorded that and I had this really cool thing that um, you could hook up um, a, or you could play a record on it. It's like an electric record player and it would um, put the track onto your computer. 
Oh yeah. On the... Yeah. So I did that. Cool. What about you, Isabella or Sophia? Have you ever tried anything like um, that? Well, I once attempted to try to find out how to use my mom's little recorder thing, but I haven't like made a podcast or anything. What about you, Isabella? Uh, no, I'm only good at making videos, so <laughs> I've never tried to make a podcast. <laughs> So I've never made a podcast either, but um, it's my understanding that pretty much any program that lets you record your voice, you could use to to make the podcast, couldn't you? Because Jane, you're are you making MP3 files? Is that what you're using? Um, yes, I think, yeah. Yeah, and the, a lot of almost any program you can record with will let you make an MP3 file. So yeah, I think QuickTime Player is really easy to use and stuff. Okay. I think it might come with the Mac, but I'm not sure. And then, Sophia, you have one last question that you could go ahead and ask. Um, what do your parents think of apps? Do they like them and use them a lot? Um, my dad and I are definitely app lovers, and I got my dad addicted to this one app called Crossy Road. I'm not sure if any of you know it. Well, What's it called? Crossy Road. Oh, okay. And um, so, yeah, he used to host the podcast with me, actually. And we would usually play all the apps together because he has the same interest as me. My mom, not so much, but my dad, yes. <laughs> and then um, Pam, who wasn't able to make it, she was interested in knowing what made you interested in participating in this interview um I love interacting with other people definitely and um I just I like interviews <laughs> that's a good answer I like interviews yeah <laughs> I do too do um any of you girls have other questions that you didn't get a chance to ask or that you thought of while we were talking? Um, I had I one, but I, I can't it. seem to remember it. Well, I've got a question. Maybe you'll remember as we chat a little bit more, Luna. Um, so, Jane, what would you tell to girls? Like, if girls watch this video on our site and they maybe they, like, just got a tablet for the holidays or they haven't done much with apps like how would you recommend that they get started like what are some of the first apps you would have them check out um let's see there's um okay there's a lot of apps but i'm on i i always change like which apps i enjoy but um oh god there's a lot um but <laughs> you can check out most of them on actually our podcast I think you can get it on iTunes, and you can look at those. But for now, I'm trying to think of some. Oh, there's this one really fun app. It's called Robot Loves Kitty or Robot Wants Kitty, and like you play as this robot, and you have to go like through all these obstacle courses and mazes and stuff, and try to get a kitten, like a cat. So that's fun. And there's like all these different gates you have to unlock, and like that kind of thing. It's pretty fun. That sounds like something I'd like. I like almost anything that has a kitty in it. Yes. <laughs> and then there's also, um, let me think. I need to think. There's, uh, so like I said, Video Star. Um, I need to check my phone for a minute to see what apps I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let me see. Um, there's this one really fun app if you, like, do any of you guys, like, escape games or anything? Like, yeah. where you have to escape from places? Because there's this one really yeah. fun app called The Silent Age. I'm not sure, like, but it's really fun. I got addicted to it for a while, and I completed it in just, like, a day or two. <laughs> wow. Basically, like, you're this person, and, like, you have this time-traveling device, and you just click a button, and you time-travel from, like, the future or 
yeah, the future to like where the earth is like destroyed and all humanity is gone to present time where like they think you murdered someone. So like they put you in captivity and stuff, but like, so you have to escape and everything, but by using that device to travel through time and stuff to get to areas that are like blocked up maybe in the future, but you can get through in the normal, but then like maybe there's devices in the future you can't get. It's really confusing, but it's really fun. That sounds really cool. Yeah, it does sound cool. Will you say the name of it again, Jane? Uh, It's called The Silent Age. The Silent prob- Age? Yeah, it's probably better for like nine and up or whatever, because, you know, there's like some like cartoonish blood and whatever, but like, I don't know. It's It's like hardly violent at all, but like, yeah. That sounds fun. So, yeah. And then, like I was saying earlier, the game I showed my dad, Crossy Road, it's basically if any of you know the old retro game Frogger, where, like, you have to cross, like, the roads and the rivers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Basically like that. But, um, like, you collect, you can collect coins and stuff, too. And every 100 coins you get, you get a new random character. Like, you can try to collect them all and stuff, and it's fun. And it's really simple, though, but it's fun. Cool. Luna, did you remember your question, or? No, but I thought of a new one. Um, Do you think that when you're older, you'll want to maybe, like, start a different podcast or continue podcasting about apps? Like, do you like podcasting a lot? Um, Yeah, I do like podcasting, so... Um, we took a small break from the podcast, but we're probably actually going to start it up again. But um, I definitely might want to make another podcast when I'm older. So, yeah. um, I like it. My uncle found a game called Space Team. And, oh, yeah, um, I play that. <laughs> yeah. Do you know of other games like that? like that are like teams and you um that one is one of the only ones i actually know but um yeah because i was looking around and i couldn't find anything here let me check my phone again (laughs) i can't think there's too many crowding my brain um well there's like a lot of games you know but like usually they just like share your score with your other friends and stuff or there's games like that you compete with your other friends like over the internet but like games like space team where you're all in the same room and you interact together i don't think i know any like it it's like special (laughs) too bad sophia i have to keep looking i bet there's something out there there's probably something yeah yeah Well, if no one has other questions, um, was there anything, Jane, that you wanted to say that um, people didn't ask about that you wanted to talk about? Um, no, I, wait, let me think. Um, just keep playing apps. and Yeah, <laughs> they're really fun. What app are you using a lot, like, right now? Like, it sounds like, you know, you try different apps out and, like, you play them a lot for a while and then you go through sort of different different one which apps are you like digging right at this very minute well actually if any of you guys are artists or like art there's a really great app called brushes and it's like one of the best art apps that i know of personally because there's a lot of great art apps but like they cost money and stuff and then they're not even that great but brushes i'm pretty sure it's free but i got a long time ago so i can't remember but it's definitely my favorite one that there is so I've been using that a lot lately, just drawing and stuff. Cool. Well, this has been a lot of fun. Um, I think that I'll I'll close the chat um, unless anyone has any final thoughts or unless there's anything you want to let Jay know or. Not really for me. Um, I have one. Okay, go ahead. Um, a friend of mine plays this game called Subway Surfer. Have you ever heard of it? 
Uh, yeah, I actually have. Again, I play it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I. that's a really fun game. You're basically, like, a person, and you have to, like, jump on subway cars and trains and stuff to escape policemen because, like, you graffitied on one of them or whatever. And it's basically, like, an endless runner game where you just keep running till you crash. And then, like, it tells you your high score and stuff. It's fun. So when you say it's an endless runner game, Jane, is there any way to actually beat the game or do you just try to beat your highest score? You're just trying to beat your highest score, maybe like the world high score. Okay. Know, to get up there on the ranks. But um, yeah, there's no actual completion of the game. It's like, um, if any of you guys know, like one of those popular games like Flappy Bird, for example, like you just keep going till you die. <laughs> I think yeah. that game is just so annoying. Yeah, I, I got it on my phone, and now I don't want to delete it because like they took it off the app store. But it's very annoying. I think my I high know. score is like two or something. Mine is like forty-seven, but that's because like I forced myself to play so I could tell my friends I got a high score. <laughs> I really hate that game. <laughs> I've heard that it's, like, rare or something, but I'm not sure if that's true. Like, if you have it on your phone or something, you can get a lot yeah, of Yeah, it's for because it. after the person made it, he realized how all these people were just spending their whole days playing it, and he did not want to ruin the world with the game. <laughs> so he took it off the app store so that no one else could buy it. So now anybody who has it on their phone, it's like, at one point, people were buying phones with Flappy Bird on it for, like, $5,000. Now that wow! Bird phase is over. Yeah, my cousin was telling me about it. That's fascinating. So this guy who made the game, it's like usually you want people to want to play your game, but then he worried that they were like too addicted to it, so he made it not available anymore. Like I've never heard of anyone doing that. <laughs> I know it's like. <laughs> He could have been, like, rich or whatever because so many people were buying this game, but he was just like, no, I'm destroying so many people's lives. <laughs> I'm just going to, like, save people by taking it off the app store. And then everybody got really mad at him. He took, he took his creation very seriously. Yes. Who made Flappy Bird? I'm not sure. Some game developer person. So how is this, I've never played this game, how is this game played? Um, you're a bird on a screen. You tap the screen to, like, go, like, an inch higher, but then, like, you slowly glide down. And that's basically the only control, but there are, like, two pipes with an opening, and you have to get through that opening, but, like, right after you get through it, there's the next one. So you just have to, like, get through all the openings without dying. Okay. They're crashing. And it's, and it's really sensitive. Very, very hard. Yeah, it sounds like it might be hard, especially if there's not a ton of controls that you can use. Yeah. But you just keep flying forever and ever? Um, If you're good at it, yeah. But every time you cross an opening, you get a point. But usually you get so frustrated after a few tries, you just start rapidly clicking and you crash constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I have another question. Um, so you said your podcast is on the App Store. Like, how much do people have to pay for it, or do they have to pay for it? Um, I think it's free. <coughs> I've never actually looked at it because it would just say like <laughs> you own this or whatever. But I'm pretty sure it's free. And you can get it off of um, Boing Boing too if you yeah. don't have iTunes. So there's well, um. Yeah. Yeah, do you know the URL off the top of your head for that, Jane? Um, I'm pretty sure it's just www.boingboing.net. And then, like, you can click on the podcast button and stuff. Or you can go to appsforkidspodcast.com. Or you can go to appsforkidspodcast.com. I'm sitting right next to a computer. What's the so. second URL you gave? The what, kids? Um, www.appsforkidspodcast.com. 
When I did that, it went it or it took me to nightanddaystudios.com. Wait, let me check. Let me look it up to see. What do you call your podcast? Um, we call it Apps for Kids. Okay. Oh, Apps for Kids. Oh yeah, here I'm on it right. All right, I'm on boingboing.net slash tag slash apps for kids. Oh yeah. And... Yeah. So I'm going to see if I can put this into the chat window for this, because then when girls watch this video, they will be able to um, see the URL and go there. So I'm just going to put the I URL think right break in. for a while, but I think we're going to start up again really soon. There we go. Can you guys see the URL in the group chat? No. I bet I wasn't paying much attention. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't see it because I was oh wait. on. Now I see the group chat button. I didn't see the group chat button. Okay, yeah, I saw it. Yeah. Oh, wait. So I... Wait. Oh yeah. Yeah. So the, um... can just go to yeah. www.appsforkidspodcast.com mm-hmm. and then it takes you straight there. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah I see it. I see it. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure what I just did, but I can't <coughs> see anyone anymore. I think I just blacked out the screen. Oh, if you click the... I oh, never mind. Sign. There we go. And okay. then the thing that says, like, apps for kids 057 mega dead pixel. Yeah, that's where oh. I was. And I voted, or I was on this, um, uh, or there's a yeah, poll. That, that was, like, our last. Like, there's a poll. It says, like, like Jane. It says, um, if you're an app developer and would like to have Jane and me try one of your apps for a possible review, email our redeem code to appsforkids at boingboing.net. Jane and I love to get your emails with questions about Game Gear and tech. Is that it? Or yes, is it something? I think so. Okay. You have a whole bunch of um, people visiting your site, I see, because um, I'm on... Or there's like a poll and you have like 563 votes. <laughs> I guess so. But like, it's because Boing Boing is my dad's website. So he like is always posting stuff and he gets a ton of viewers. So a lot of them just find apps for kids on their own. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. And then we posted one contest on our podcast. Uh, it was like a Minecraft building contest who built the coolest thing. But we actually only got like a few entries. But, so, yeah. That's still pretty cool. I find Minecraft. Oh, you do? Yeah. Um. Well, I don't have it, but my cousin comes to my house pretty much every week. And she brings her new tablet with her. And she has um, Minecraft on it, and we were at a sleepover at our grandma's, and she brought it with her, and we were on Create Island, and I can never figure out a video game uh, if it's on, like, a DS or a tablet or something. So I was sitting there trying, and then my cousin starts yelling at me because he says, you're lighting all my sheep on fire, and I can't tell what I'm doing because these big orange blocks have <laughs> <laughs> so apparently I let lighted some of her sheep on fire. <laughs> yeah, I also play Pokemon and stuff. So yeah, on my 3DS. So I don't know if any is everyone. Whoa, well, that was weird because I just heard myself in someone else's pod or someone else's <laughs> um thing. Is everyone brought or is everyone talking from the US? Uh yeah. Yes. If you want we can give our states. Um I am in South Dakota and Jane, you're in California, right? Yeah. I am in, I'm in South Alberta. Dakota. Okay. Did Luna, did you say you're in North I'm in Alberta, which is in Canada. Oh, you're in Canada, okay. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And I'm it's in Bella? Ohio. Ohio? Yeah. And what about you, Sophia? 
Dakota. You're in South Dakota too? Yep. Wow, it's a not a very populated state and there's two of us new mooners there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you on New Moon Girls, Jane? Um, I think yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you girls get the magazine? Jane's article was in the September October issue of the magazine and she recommended her 10 favorite apps there or not her 10 favorite apps but she recommended 10 apps there I oh yeah it. i remember that it was um, cool my 10 favorite exactly apps at the yeah I remember that <laughs> i'll go moment. get the if you don't mind i'll go grab my bag <laughs> upstairs sure if you know where it is yeah i do so how many apps do you think that you've tried jane since you first became interested when you were like eight like 300 yeah <laughs> i like have a ton of apps like i see an app and i get it yeah <laughs> and usually they suck so i delete it after like 20 seconds then once in a while i'll run into this one good one that i think i'm gonna delete and then i play it for like five minutes and then i get really addicted so you just like to try them out and if you don't like them you just delete them right away yes cool because i have like hardly any room left on my phone <laughs> how much or how much or what percentage of your storage do you think is taken up by apps on your phone like all of it <laughs> pretty much um well, i have like a lot of photos and stuff but i have like probably more than 70 percent of it is taken <laughs> up by apps i have like four pages on my phone just filled with folders filled with apps <laughs> <laughs> so do you organize the apps like how do you organize them into folders well i know that a lot of people just write like games 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 but that like <laughs> makes it hard so i'm like endless runner games um <laughs> escape games that kind of thing okay and another app that i recommend is one called Tamago Click, T-A-M-A-G-O. And it's a very annoying app, but it's very fun because basically the thing you do on it is click an egg, but you have to click it a million times. And once you click it a million times, there's like a prize inside. And it change the prize changes every 24 hours, so you never know what you're gonna get. But I've heard that a lot of people have gotten like iTunes gift cards and stuff. And it sounds easy and fun, but I've been playing for about two years and I'm just like, still have like 300,000 clicks left or whatever. So. Oh my God. <laughs> Some people must get super addicted to that and just spent like all their time clicking yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, that's the right spelling, what you said there. Um, yep, I Googled it first, and then I saw the picture of the egg come up, so I was like, yeah, this is what she's talking about. <laughs> yes. <So. laughs> um, I have, like, I uh, once I just woke up in the morning, because I wake up really early every morning, like at 6.30. So I just woke <laughs> up, and it was like a school morning, so I just had nothing to do. So I just grabbed my phone, decided to play it, and I clicked, and I clicked. And for about an hour, I was just clicking the egg. And I got like 10,000 clicks done. So <laughs> that was fun, but it was hard. Wow, you could do 10,000 clicks in an hour. Yeah, and it was boring, but I was like half asleep, so <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> and so I you just. just... Oh, sorry, you go, go ahead. ahead, Jane. Okay. So I just like recommend like clicking randomly when you're like watching TV or like a movie or something and like. I always have to be fidgeting with something while I'm watching like a movie or a show or something. Like I do magic yeah. tricks with cards. So like sometimes I'm just like shuffling cards in my hands as I watch it or like doing something like that. So this is like just a great way to get my hands doing something so that I'm not like always fidgeting and bugging my mom if we're watching a show together. <laughs> So it's all like just the curiosity that drives you like to see what's going to be in the next egg? Uh, yeah, I've never beat the game. I like, so I don't even know what's going to be in mine. But... 
Oh. I'm just going to keep on working on it. Wow. Like another year. I've estimated that if I do like 10,000 clicks a day, it'll take me like less than two months. But like, wow. it's going to be hard. That would be so annoying. Imagine if you um did your a million clicks and then there wasn't anything. Like it was that just a That would be rip-off. very annoying. <laughs> what if there's just like a little dancing chicken animation or something? <laughs> I would like horrible. punch my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm curious about what's what's in the egg. Yeah, I like. I read online for like two hours once on a road trip, just trying to find somebody saying what they got in the egg, just <laughs> for curiosity. So. Finally, I went to the app store and I read some of the reviews. And after like 2 billion reviews, I found a few different people that one of them said they got an iTunes gift card for just like $10. And then one of them said that they got a $15 iTunes gift card, but it was in German, so they couldn't use it. (laughs) And then like, they all just said different things. But they, right now, I saw like those two, I think, and they were both iTunes gift cards, but... So I'm guessing it's going to be something like that, but who knows? Was the app made in Germany, Jane? Is that why it was in German, or do you know where it was made? I'm not made? exactly sure where it was made, but must be What's somewhere. What's the app called? Uh, Tamago. I think it's in our chat bar. It says. It. Yep, I put it in the group chat window. It's T A M A G O. Okay. Apparently, Tamago is also some kind of like egg dish. For, or a Japanese egg yeah, dish or something. Yeah, it is. Oh, really? I didn't even yeah. know that. Perfect. It is. Eggs. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can, like, get, like, a picture of it on my phone, like, for the camera, but I think it's going to be, It's a like... Japanese omelet. Yep, we can see it right there. It's yeah, the and then all those it. numbers at the top are how many I still have to click. <laughs> just, like, wow. Click. And I think you can also, like, shake it to get clicks done, but that's harder. Because, like, <laughs> you shake your phone, like, ten times, it's, like, one. So, that's annoying. So just well, this it. person seemed to be very mad. They said, um, um, one million, uh, taps to crack an egg. One million taps to get ten million points in um temple run another for a million texts for mails for twitter for facebook a hundred thousand million taps to call your friends and family it doesn't matter where that's or you just tap and then like um so and then this person like they wrote a very big thing i guess so they said um and you so this person just apparently got nothing with it it was just a cracked egg that said or that had a tomes a tombstone in it with, that said so what. <laughs> so well, I apparently that don't person didn't have the best uh, experience with it. Some uh-huh. people, I guess, get horrible things, where some people get great things. <laughs> How so, many different prizes did you say there are, Jane? Um, I just wrote about like I I've been like looking everywhere trying to find some of the prizes, but the only one that the only two that I found both said that they got iTunes gift cards. Okay. One person was just like, it's only a $5 iTunes gift card. And the other one was like, it's like a $15 gift card, but it's in Germany, so I can't use it. <laughs> so, both of them still were not that happy. But, you know, you, you cannot be looking forward to anything great if you do it. Just get it for fun. Yeah. I just like going up to my friends and saying, click the egg to contribute to the Tamago journey. <laughs> and then they just click it once and I'm like, thank you. But yeah, so that's why I've had I, it for two years and I'm still nowhere because just I don't play it a lot. It annoys me. Are most of your friends into apps as well or are you? Um, some of my other friends, they definitely well my like other few main best friends, they are definitely Minecrafters too and like They play all the main games I play, like World of Warcraft and stuff. But apps, they, like, they play the most popular apps, like Flappy Bird or, like, Crossy Road or anything like that. But they don't have, like, folders and folders of apps like I do. (laughs) 
All right. Well, I think um, we're about ready to to wrap up. Thank you so much, Jane, for joining us tonight. And thank you, Sophia and Luna and Isabella for coming as well. Um, I learned a ton. I do not know hardly anything about apps. Like I have maybe <laughs> five apps on my smartphone total. So 